Yeah, that's a that's a tough one. Um, when you have a physician saying that you cannot do absolutely anything, I, I think there's a couple ways that you can approach this. And obviously, one, if you're the the non healthcare professional, you're getting something that's from the healthcare professional saying something totally different um, than what is kind of common practice. I don't think it's unreasonable. Sorry, I've got my <laughs> here and making noise. Um, I have. I, I think you can you can approach to them with humility and just saying, "Hey, you know what? This is there are some other guidelines that are out here as far as letting things happen." I, I think it's reasonable to have that conversation with people. You know, not everybody can keep up with these things all the time. You know, I, I'm in the concussion world day in and day out, so it's easy for me to stay current with stuff just because that's what I do a lot. But it's not necessarily for the general practitioner out there. Um, who, you know, is trying to navigate, you know, a zillion different types of medical problems uh, and, and may not have the time to focus on the most current literature that's going on, the recommendations for concussion. So I don't think it's an unreasonable thing to, to push back a little bit and say, hey, you know what, we're hearing these things that are happening. Is it possible that we could do these things? And I, I don't think many people will get much resistance. I think there's, there's a lot of um, apprehension about doing that because they don't want to offend or what have you. But you know, again, if you guys are, are you know, getting things like this information and you have the current information and someone else doesn't, we need to get that information out to the people who aren't getting it so we can manage these kids appropriately. So, so I don't think it's an unreasonable thing to at least kind of reach out to that person's office and just say, hey, you know, is it okay if we try this? This is something I've been hearing about. And, and you know, a lot of times that, that provider would hopefully look into some of that a little bit. Yeah. And I mean, thanks for saying that. I know that I'm guilty. I'm so guilty of being almost afraid or, you know, to, to talk to the physician when, and when I do make that call, they're so grateful, like, Oh my gosh, I haven't seen this article or or, thank you. So I think just um, reminding people that most uh, of your referral sources uh, also, they, they are thankful for that. So don't be afraid to, to pick up the phone and call.